Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are finally going to get started by doing the Pixie Quest line. So here we are in the Crystarium about to unlock the Pixie Beast Tribe. Just the Pixie Tribe Quest, I guess. So here we are in the Crystarium, like right outside the Pendants, and the quest is called... And the quest is called Maniac Pixie Dream Realm. And we unlock it by speaking with this cute pic Pixie. So, the pink pixie appears to be spying on some children. <gasps> it... Uh, it happened again! I had another scary dream! Uh, me too! In mine, a bunch of toys became a monster and chased me all over! What? I had the exact same dream! This... this can't be a coincidence! The pixies! I'll wager they're behind it! Those beans and El Meg, the grown-ups, say we must never go near? I them. Mommy said that if you're naughty, they come into your dreams and drag you off to a world of nightmares. Truly? Oh no, I haven't been doing my chores. I must hurry home and finish them. Seems they were right. What a dilemma this is. And to think that they pin the blame on us. We make fun dreams, not scary ones. Hm. Is something the matter? Pixie had a fright sneaking up like that, and how can you even see me anyway? Wait, I know you! You're the new king sapling! I've been wanting to meet you since forever! Claire is your name, is it not? My name is Hailbeck, and I'm the leader of the Dream Spinners. Oh yes, I'm an expert at spinning dreams, and for this they call me the Weaver, though weird and eccentric are often thrown about too. But whatever others say, there's no place I love more than children's fun-filled dreams. But there's a problem. We've recently been shut out of the dreams. Around the same time, I received word that children were being racked by nightmares. So I came to investigate, and it's just as I had feared. I suppose a few things bear explaining. Simply put, someone's trying to ruin our precious Lib Meg, a garden of dreams, and they must be stopped. How do you do that? You know, this problem concerns mortals as well. And as an upstanding member of your kind, it, it pains you to see your fellow suffer from nightmares, doesn't it? Okay, I'll give you that. But of course it does! And that's why you'll lend me your aid. Without further ado then, let's set to work solving this problem. Come with me to a place called Sullen, west of here. We're going to rendezvous with another ally. You know, I noticed that the Pixies all kind of have a slight Irish accent, so I'm trying to kind of portray that in my voice. I'm not really sure if I'm doing a good job here, but it's really one of the only few accents that I can do. Okay, so we have to see about helping these Pixies solve this whole problem with these kids having nightmares. Not really sure how we can do that, but hey, I'm open-minded here. So let's see where this journey is going to take us. So we're going to be meeting up with another ally, possibly another pixie, and then we're going to, I guess, just help them just pinpoint like why these nightmares are happening, I guess. And I remember that Solon is actually the place that they call, like, these little string of islands out here. Here she is. Oh, you came! You really came! 
<laughs> it's true what they say. The king sapling is as kind as she is strong. Why, thank you. Right then, our ally should be around here somewhere. In case you're wondering, it's a porksy, those pig-like familiars, and one that has a fondness for nightmares. My new moon acquaintance who alerted me to the strangeness in the children's dreams has sent it to aid us. Did someone say nightmares? <laughs> Oh, he's cute. Ah! It's enormous! Well, of course I'm enormous. It would be impossible to contain all my cuteness otherwise. Nor your vanity, it seems. Ah, but what are my manners? Zeal too. Dreamer, devourer, extraordinaire. At your service. You show me a nightmare and I'll show you a feast. <laughs> Now, you'll be wondering, what is a familiar doing without its master? Well, by virtue of the hat that my creator bestowed upon me, I am my own master. Yes, yes, you're no ordinary porksy. Good for you. Now, I trust you know about the trouble that's afoot. Oh, I more than know about the massive nightmares that have been plaguing mortals. I already have a suspect in my sights. Truly? My investigation leads me to believe that a certain pixie, Berith of Color, is our culprit. Of late, they have been sighted fluttering about suspiciously in the vicinity of Lethgara. Berith of Color? How unusual! Now, this pixie has the ability to manipulate dreams directly without even entering Lethmeg. With such power, they could steal away the garden's gates completely. What? But to do that, you have to at least be the equal of Titania. <laughs> You're confused, mortal, and small wonder. But rather than trying to explain, it would be quicker to simply show you. After all, by keeping company with the Weaver, you've already stepped into the place between dreams and reality. Come. Wait, are you saying that we're asleep right now? How does that work? This whole thing is starting to become a little confusing. So a pale pixie is causing nightmares and is extremely powerful. That's really all that I could get. As far as I know, porksies can't hide themselves from mortal sight. If the little girl wakes up and sees Yuzila slavering over her, she's likely to get a good fright. You better not scare her then. What little girl. Oh, okay. Uh... Do you see that little girl there, moaning and muttering in her sleep? The stench of a nightmare pervades her, unnatural in its potency. Please, please give me back my doll. <laughs> It's all I have left of mother. From what I know, the child is an orphan of home Mr. Switch. Though she was adopted, she struggles to fit in with her new family and feels alone. Tell me, mortal, in what times do you experience nightmares? Um, at night? All men are driven by certain needs. When severely deprived of a need, their hearts come to harbor a void in which torment quickens. This torment then assumes terrible forms in dreams and takes roots in the dreamer's heart. Tragic enough that this little girl lost her mother, but she also had her doll, her source of solace taken from her by her stepbrother. It is a heartrending tale. Yes, truly heartrending. 
Ah, that sticky sweet aroma. I can't resist it anymore. Uh, I'm going to look away. If you excuse me, friends, it is time for me to do what I do best. Yes, very flavorsome. Uh, and now the child is free of... Free of... Oh. What's the matter? The nightmare. It's richer than anything I've ever eaten. Oh, my belly. I think... Oh, I think I'm gonna throw up. What? You can't. We'll be back to where we started. Leave the child alone. You! Who are you? Judging by your color, you're not from Lydia's land. Who am I? Hmm, I suppose An Lad will suffice for a name. So, Anlan, you have lots of power. That much is plain. Are you the one plaguing the children with nightmares? Plaguing? We simply share in each other's misery. That child understands me, understands my loneliness. So I sealed the gate, that she might be my friend and mine alone. There's nothing you can do. No mere familiar can remove the dream I've sown. Even if it could, the dream will always return, for the child's own heart embraces it. Not good. If she can't break free of the dream's hold, her mind will inevitably be consumed. She would die! Oh, what a pain this is! It doesn't bother me so much what happens to a few mortals, but it does bother me to have our precious garden ruined. <sighs> I hate to use my powers this way, but I have an idea. If it's the child's own heart that embraces the nightmare, we'll just have to change it. Ezeel, you can bring that nightmare back up, but first we have to get somewhere far away from here. Claire, I need your help too. Come on. Why? Why must you torment me? Okay, so that was a very strange thing to see. Now then, Claire, for better or worse, you're about to see why they call me the Weaver. Here I go! Wah! Well, that was inside me?! This is where you come in, Claire. Vanquish that nightmare creature. Oh, it's so ugly. up designs like this. Oh, I 
I've done my part. The rest is up to you. Hurry, strike it down. It shouldn't be any trouble for the king's sapling. I know I'm just waiting for this guy to finish first. Okay. Oh, that's not that strong at all. Help with you real quick, too. Okay. Well, that was fun. Now what? My, you truly are strong. The king chose their sapling well. Now then, your victory will have changed the ending to the child's dream. She'll awaken, feeling as though she has conquered her fears. Had you not felt that nightmare? It would inevitably find its way back to the child. Excellently done, Claire. Right, let's hurry back to Sullen and see how she fares. Izil and I will hide and lead the talking to you. So we changed the little girl's nightmare into a sweet dream. That's nice. That that pale pixie looks kind of familiar. Am I the only one who saw that? Mm, where's the girl now? Oh, I didn't notice you two hiding. Go on, see how she is. Tail Beck says I'm liable to frighten the little girl. But this can't be true, surely? With these adorable ears and snout, these winsome curves. I was designed to delight! Huh? Where am I? Did I fall asleep? Um, thanks for waking me up. There you are! I've been looking all over for you! Mother's worried, so hurry up and go home. Brother, I'm sorry. Seems I dozed off. Wait! There's, there's something I want to say to you. It's been lonely. I don't know how to fit in. What to say, what to do. What's this all of a sudden? You hadn't so much as spoken a dozen words to us before, much less talked about your feelings. I know. I was too scared to. I don't know why, but I feel I have courage now to say how I feel. There's one other thing. The doll. It was a present from my mother. She gave it to me so I wouldn't be lonely. Is that the way of it? I'm... I'm sorry. I didn't realize how important it was to you. I only meant to tease you is all. I'll give it back, all right? So come on, let's go home together. Seems you've been watching over my sister. Thank you. Please take care, and see you again. rather well. Mojos are surprisingly impressionable things. I see, I see. By eliminating the child's nightmare, we wrought a positive change in her reality, thereby eliminating the void in which her torment resided. Something like that. Anne Lad appears to have drawn into the torment in our heart. With it gone, they have no more reason to plague her. And with that, we may begin reclaiming our precious Lith Meg. No matter what, I'll keep it safe. I promise you, Titania. <laughs> you're even more adorable when you're confused. For now, let's just say you've done me a great service. By way of thanks, it's only fitting that I invite you to our playground.
Come to Liathian and seek out my friend, Thorn Sol. They'll show you the way in. Haven't played an instrumental part in our success. It goes without saying that I'm invited as well. <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing this, this whole dream world thing. Wonder what they're play I mean, what counts as a pixie playground? Whatever it is, I'm betting that it's colorful if nothing else. Oh, it's pouring rain. And... Where do we go from here? Oh! Didn't notice that gate there before. Hello? Ah, Claire, I presume. I've been expecting you. You should know, it's quite risky for a mortal to enter the Garden of Dreams while wide awake. You might not be able to fall asleep ever again. That could be interesting too, I suppose. Anyway, by order of Tib Beg, one of the esteemed founders of Leth Meg, I bid you welcome. expecting oh we can't use mounts here welcome Claire welcome you stand within an illusionary space created by our magics normally it's filled with fun things it's been empty like this since the gates were sealed off. The gates lead to the dreams of mortals in various regions of Nordrand, you see. They allow us to interact with dreams, to shape them and rollick in them. <coughs> Sinister magic hangs over the gates. The work of An Lad I shouldn't doubt. So it seems. How, how did you get in here? Why, Thon Sul showed me in, of course. And even if I weren't your distinguished guest, my cuteness doubtless would have won them over. <laughs> You're not nearly as cute as you think you are. But all right, you can stay. Now where was I? Right, with that little girl freed from her nightmares, I sense that the magic over the gates has weakened. Slightly, but surely. This is because An Lad has lost interest in the girl, I'm sure of it. We should be able to open one of the gates again, the one leading to Lakeland. Hmm, hmm. I grasp the situation now, but I dare say our mortal friend is confused. Permit me to summarize it all for her benefit. An Lad has identified mortals across Norvrunt who strongly share their torment and planted nightmares in them. In order to prevent interference, they sealed off the gates to the locals beyond. These mortals under An Lat's hold have spread their influence to those around them, giving rise to the phenomenon of mass nightmares. Why do you suppose An Lat is giving people nightmares? It is quite a mystery. Indeed, knowing An Lat's motivation will be the key to our efforts. And rest assured, I shall continue sniffing about for answers. <laughs> All right, that's enough talking. Let's do something fun for a change. Claire, I'm going to lend you my power. What I want you to do is stand before the gate yonder while holding an image of Lakeland in your mind. Aww. 
We're bringing back bright sunlight. With that, we've reopened the first gate. We only have a few dream bubbles though, so we can't do much here yet. The bubbles hold memories of mortals' fun and happy dreams. They're used to fill our garden with all sorts of delightful things, and we can never have enough of them. On that note, we could still use your help, Claire. We went through a lot to reopen the gate. We have to make sure that it stays opened. By freeing the little girl and Sullen from her nightmares, you and yours have reclaimed the dreams of those in Lakeland. Tia Beg appears eager to restore Ith Med to its former fun-filled glory, and for this they require your aid. Alright, I like that idea! Seems like a fun thing to have. So this is the Garden of Dreams. I've been wanting to visit for a long time. Right, let's continue this back outside. I'll arrange it so you can always return here. Just let Don Sol know whenever you want to come and go. Cool! Let's have a quick look around! So, I do predict that we'll be able to see this grow and change the more that we do these quests. So, not really much now. A lot of green hills. Nice little river. Oh, we got pixies wandering about here. Waterfalls are nice and all, but something's missing. What about something slippery or something spidery? Ooh, a water slide. That's fun. We should make a bridge. Is there a reason for that? I mean, you can fly, so it's not like you have to build a bridge. I mean, I suppose you can have one for aesthetic reasons. And I think we're just cast adrift in like this... The clouds. So I think we're like up in the sky here. I mean, that's nothing new. We've seen floating islands before, but... This is not supposed to even be real. This is supposed to be uh, made of dreams, so that's quite interesting. So we should be able to keep adding to this whole dream world, like, bit by bit. Like, right now we've only done enough to bring back sunlight, I'm guessing. And... Yeah, so there's really not too much to go by here. But it is nice just to get a before image in our heads, and then we can look back fondly once we finish. Ooh! Darn it, I can't touch it! I guess that's why they took away mounts in this place, so that we can't go up and fly into those bubbles. That's a shame. Okay, though, I think we had enough fun. Let's head back outside and see what they have for us to do next. We should host a tea party! With lots of delicious cakes! That sounds like fun. Ah, oh, leaving already? You ought to stay and play a little longer. Thanks, but no thanks.
Oh, so we're back outside, in the dark, in the rain. My mind races, Claire. If an illusionary space such as Lith Med can exist, who's to say there aren't more? Well, there you have it, Claire. Lith Meg. It's a bit bare at the moment, I know, but we'll collect more dream bubbles and we'll fill the place with fun things again. What are the gates to the other regions? Shouldn't we try to reopen them as well? Oh, we should and we will. But first we need to focus on the one that's already open. As it stands, Lakeland is still vulnerable to Anlad's influence. In order to keep them and their nightmares away, we must keep the mortals happy by filling the region with lots of fun dreams. So you see, Claire, there's still much to be done. Won't you keep helping us so that the mortals and pixies can have a place to play together? As long as you don't play tricks on me. Huzzah! Huzzah! Thank you, Claire. Rest assured I wouldn't dream of playing tricks on you. After all, I'm a good Titania-fearing pixie. Without further ado, then, let us get to work bringing smiles to the people of Lakeland. For your part, I want you to gather lots of dream materials, items we can enchant and use to rebuild that Meg. Lakeland is home to many orphans, so objects that would evaluate the loneliness would be ideal. My thanks in advance, Claire. I too shall continue my investigation. This porksy will not hover idly by while stomach-turning nightmares plague the land. <laughs> Yay! Quest complete! Peace Tribe Quests unlock the Dream Spinners! And our reputation is up to friendly! Pixie Beast Tribes are now available from Youth Nin and Let Garan. Furthermore, you may now purchase wares from Jewel Orb. Really? Bring me a dream one. That's the first achievement. So let's see what they have to sell with Fae Fancies. And... Oh. Just... Just materia. Really? Is that really all? I mean... We can get materia from a lot of other places. It's not like we have to just sell that. All right, so let's go and accept some quests. Where there's wool, there's a way. Flowery Flawlick and sharing is caring. Okay, where there's wool, there's a way. You and me would see the woolen way return to its former glory. And we get a fey fancy for our efforts. It looks like a little lantern. That's kind of cute. Oh, once it was so fluffy and poofy and poofy, and now it's so... not. Whatever is this world coming to? I speak, of course, of the Woolen Way. Wasn't that obvious? Do try to keep up, dear mortal. Anyway, the Woolen Way lies just north of here. Once upon a time, it was a great road whereby mortals would transport great balls of fleecy wool to and fro, fro and to. Doesn't that sound positively lovely? Of course it does! That's why I have a mind to spin a dream of a road so soft and fleecy you think it was made from the wool of a thousand sheeps. Er, flocks of sheeps. Anyhow, to do that, we'll need a big ball of wool. Actually, three big balls of wool. You'll be a dear and fetch them for me, yes? Okay, the next one. Uni would fill the dreams of children with flowers. Oh, aren't they lovely! Vibrant rooms of all colors bursting forth from the intertwining branches. Truly bountiful floral bouquets come to life. You've seen them amble here in Lydia and Loran, aren't you? I just know the children would love them as much as I do. Were it not for one also small rub, that is. You see, they have an awfully nasty tendency to stomp on smaller creatures. Not on purpose, I'm sure, and crush them under the mighty trunks that form their feet. That's when I got to thinking. I thought... All I need to do is weave a spell to bring them down to a smaller size. So I did precisely that. Sadly, it worked so well, I didn't even notice when one of my tiny little creatures snuck away. Why, well, I simply couldn't bear to keep the children waiting any longer. You'll track my little creation down and bring it back to me, yes? Yes? And if it puts up a fight, don't hesitate to bash it on the head once or twice to remind it to behave. And the last one is called Sharing is Caring. Uni requires a new source of amusement. Oh, how I tire of these same old toys of mine. If only I had something new and exciting to play with. Oh, the wondrous dreams I could spin. 
How about those precious little treasures that those most vexing pixies over by the booksman shelves have found? The one that they have the nerve to hoard for all for themselves. Hm. What sort of trinkets are they, you ask? How am I supposed to know? They won't so much as let me see them. But, hmm, yes, yes indeed. Maybe if you, my favorite mortal, were to ask nicely with a pretty, pretty please, they might just oblige. Yes, I do believe they might. You speak our tongue quite well, yes. All you need to do is tell them how jumpingly cute they are, and I'm sure they'll be singing a different tune in no time at all. Then once you have their treasures, you just trot them back here to me. Then everyone's happy, yes? Oh boy, that accent is exhausting. So right now, these are just the daily quests. We're just getting a good look at our first glimpse to what kind of quests we can be expecting. So, yeah, I think that the other Scion said it best. These pixies, they don't have anything that's really worth considering calling a woe or any troubles at all. You know, I think it would be pretty cool to be a pixie. Just so that I wouldn't have to worry about anything. And I like that we just have these great big balls of fluffy wool just lying around. I mean, they look like they're actually like just sheep all curled up. Yeah, and I recently learned that these sheep are actually kind of like their pets. So the pixies actually do take really good care of them. So, continue on our way. We have one quest down, we got two more to go. So it should be around here. We just passed by Uriange's place, so... Oh, down here. Excuse me. Well, well, the visitant's old news favorite mortal. Claire, was it? Whatever brings you to... Wait, I know what this is. If Uni has sent you to get your hands on our treasures, well, they can just flutter off once they came. We found these, and that means we'll be keeping them. Thank you very much. The chat? Okay, all we gotta do is tell them Snailing. Which means Jumping Pixie, I think. Why, of all the... Claire, you're making me blush! Still, if you think just because you're the hero who brought back the knight, you could just saunter in here and charm us into sharing our treasures with you, then come to think of it, you're right. After all, why keep our precious possessions all for ourselves when they could be spun into dreams and bring joy to all the children in the realm? Oh, what a lovely thought that is. Just promise me you'll take good care of it, yes? Yeah, pixies aren't that tough to convince, I guess. Just say snaling and they do whatever you tell them to. Wish we knew that before. Would have made walking around this place a lot easier. So we got just one more little quest to do and then we can head back. And we can start saving up our little reputation bar. We have to capture a bitsy basket. And where? Oh, it's cute! It's just about our size. I like these better than the big ones. Thankfully, it's not too tough. Mm 
Okay, that's all three. Now we'll head back, turn these in, and then we can get a look of just how much farther we have to go before we can take on the next quest. I see it from here, too. So in order to do this series of quest lines, we have to earn enough points on our reputation bar before we can go any further. And... Uh, let me pull that up real quick. So this is the ones from Stormblood. We have the Namazu, the Ananta, and the Kojin. But now in Shadowbringers, looks like we're going to be having a list of items here too. So in Shadowbringers, we just have the pixies for right now. Now we can turn these in. Well, I can't wait forever for my wool, you know. I've dreams to spend and places to be. A fleecy, fluffy ball of thick, soft sheep's wool. Why, just look how large and fluffy this one is. And this one even more. You truly have done yourself, dear mortal. With this, I can spin the wooliest way my dreamers have ever dreamed. No more legend has it that in the days when mortals lived in these parts, great wagons went up and down the woolen way, each packed to the brim with the fluffiest of fleeces to be carried to market. These days, alas, only the name remains. Is that not the saddest story you've ever heard? But no matter, for we shall spend a new woolen way in the dreams of the children, and one even more glorious than before. Why, I can just picture them bouncing up and down on a road to fleece and fluff like a giant cloud. Wouldn't you like to join them? But watch out. It may be so dreamy and delightful, you just might never want to wake up. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay, our reputation has gone up. Oh boy. 510. Well, if this isn't my favorite mortal, did you manage to capture my darling little basket? Because I might have to find a new favorite mortal if you hadn't. This Oh dear, look at those battered branches. It looks like it put up quite a fight. But not to worry. Oh no, not at all. My magic will have it patched up good as new in the fluttering of a wing. To think these teensy wincy versions would be so lively when its bigger brethren are so restful and relaxed. Is it possible that smaller creatures are more wont to dash and dot about with little aim or reason? Why, just the other day I saw it trying to paint a new flower on itself when the aroma attracted a curious little creepy crawly. Completely forgot about the flower and chased the insect across the field where it saw another flower and... It's as if it cannot keep its mind on a single thing for more than mere moments at a time. What was I talking about again? Anyway, no matter. I really should be getting along spinning dreams of my flowering little friend. You'll help me if it gets away again, won't you? Oh, my favorite mortal is back. And what's that in your hands? Could it be? Yes, yes, you must show me at once. What a lovely collection of insect wings. A brilliant wing that shines with all the colors of the rainbow. A fluffy wing covered with flax and hair. Why, these would make beautiful hair ornaments for me and my friends. Those greedy little pixies are most smitten when you told them how jumpingly cute they were, were they not? I thought they might be. You know, you could tell me the same from time to time if you like, tee <laughs> hee. But where was I? Oh yes, I'm sure they'll be all too quick to hoard and hide the way the next shiny little thing they get their hands on. So I do hope you're ready to chime them again for me. Farewell for now, my favorite mortal. Alright! Quest is complete, and we are up to 180. So it's going to take a few days before we can take on the next quest. Least you wonder, my creator named me for their esteemed teacher, who is said to be a hermetic of unrivaled skill. I would like to meet them, but apparently they are no longer an Ilmeg. Tell me, Claire, what sort of dreams do you see? If you wish, I could show you the most delightful dreams, unless you prefer something fiendish, hee <laughs> hee. Well, we'll talk more later. Anyway, everyone, I just want to thank you all for watching my video, and I hope that you all enjoyed it and are looking forward to seeing how this little story unravels. I'm looking forward to seeing what becomes of this on lad character and exactly what we can be expecting. So until next time, everyone, I hope you all enjoyed it, and I'll see you all again very soon.
So until then, sweet dreams.